What is good YouTube? It's your boy AC Quillen and in today's video we're gonna react to what you say versus what you wanna say to parents by love, live, serve. You feel me? I got nothing to say to my parents because you know what I'm saying. They they keep me under their roof. You know, I'm sipping on their drink, you feel me? Uh, that, that drink, you dig? And I, I have nothing to say, you feel me? I'm just blessed to be, you know, be under the roof and not under the bridge, you feel me? But let's get it through it, man. We're gonna see that whole gets that. Ace approval, but not you feel me? We're gonna see that whole pops and not you did. And three, two, one, ee. -e. Ah, you should look at this shit popping. Oh, 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 I'm trying to, I'm trying to. Blast him, blast him. Hold on, one second. Blast him, blast him. Oh, hold on, one second. Wow, wow, wow. Hey, dinner's ready. What are you two doing? Oh, we're just playing Rise of Kings. Rise of Kings? What's that? Oh, it's a sponsor of today's video. Oh, I should probably elaborate. What's up guys? So Rise of Kings is a war strategy mobile game with tons of fantasy elements. It is a massive online multiplayer game that is set in the Middle Ages. The overall style of the game is fairly intricate. The high quality computer graphics make Rise of Kings super engaging and fun to play. Oh, this sounds pretty interesting. There are also a bunch of cool heroes that you can play as. Building up the heroes involves the formation of troops and promotion of attributes. Oh wow. Also, check out these great castle themes. I personally really like the Dark Dragon Castle. Not only does it look great, but it's also also very powerful in battle and rise of kings has global servers so you compete with players from all over the world you can also set up your own alliance hold all different kinds of alliance activities chat with friends from around the globe and just wage war together right now the most popular event in the game is the kingdom war tournament which is in its second season now each season lasts for four months once you win your rank goes up a level four but months? if you lose uh. your rank drops one there are awesome rewards for each level after the event and the rewards for the highest level are insane this is super valuable and super cost effective and their Facebook fan page and App Store reviews are full of praise from players from all around the world. So what are you guys waiting for? Be sure to click the first link at the top of the description and download Rise of Kings. And you guys will also get a free gift pack when you use the code in the description. So once again, big thanks to Rise of Kings for helping make this video possible. Thanks for sponsoring us. And let's get straight into the video. What's goody? It's your boy Rhino. You guys are watching Love the Serve. How you doing today? If you're new here, feel free to hit the subscribe button. We would love to have you join the Serve Squad family. Now you guys read the title. What you say versus what you want to say to your parents like i feel like most people have parents right like most people most of us like or they were raised by somebody raised by you're raised by somebody you know and because you're financially dependent on them they just control you and get to make up all the rules and we all know that, that a lot of rules parents make up are just complete hot air so parents out Real there tall. thank you for what you've done for us but y'all tripping sometimes Real Hope you guys the video. let's get it <laughs> what you say to your parents hey, it's eight o'clock you know what that means it's tv time that means you need to move because this is my spot Okay. I'll just, I'll just go to my... Yeah, room. shut up! <laughs> I want my red skins now. Oh, hell no, dude. Oh, all right. Where's the remote? Hey, where's the remote? Tuffy, where's the remote? Oh, it's right here. Bring me the remote. You know what I'm saying? My dad ain't want to do that shit again. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Nah, that nigga, he, he's still trying. What you want to say to your parents? Hey, it's 8 o'clock. You know what that means? It's TV time. That means you need to move, because this is my spot. Okay. I'll just, I'll just go to my room. Yeah, shut up! Hey, where's the remote? Hey, where's the remote? Tuffy, where's the remote? Oh, it's right here. Hell no. You can, there's a seat right there. You can you can sit right there. Move your feet. Lose your seat. I'm tired. I had a long day. I was here way before you. No, you can move. I'm trying to watch my skin. You ain't watching shit. I'm gonna watch my shit. Oh, <laughs> did you just cuss? Oh, my badass kids. Sit right there. Sit right there. I'm gonna watch it. What you say to your parents? You need to pick up that shoe right now. Oh my god, this room is trash. Oh my god, I cannot function. This room is so dirty. Oh, it's filthy. Oh, oh it smells in here. Oh, oh, this should be a federal crime for how dirty it is. Mom, it's like one shoe on the ground. My house, my rules. So you're gonna do what I say? Pick up that shoe, clean this room up right now. Okay, okay, I'll do it. I'm sorry. And you know what? Go grab a vacuum. This floor is filthy. Where's the vacuum? Where's the vacuum? Come on! <laughs> hurry up! Hurry up! Faster! Uh, Faster! Uh, clean! Clean your room! Pick it up! Pick it up! What you wish you could say? Hey! You need to pick up that shoe right now! Oh my god! This room is trash! Clean your room right now! You're gonna do what I say! This is my house! These are my rules! I ain't doing shit! First off, this is my room. I do what I want 
in my room. And there's not even anything on the floor. That's a damn shoe. And if you have a problem, why don't you just go ahead and close the door so you don't have to see it? Better yet, why don't you just close your eyes so you don't have to see the mess of the room? Or, you know what? You can even do this. Take some spoons, put them over your eyes. Oh, what are you doing there? Oh, I'm too busy. Mm, I'm glad the haters. Oh, why are you and why are you even making me clean the room in the first place? We're not having guests over. Nobody's coming to my room. Obama is not going to come into my room and inspect like, oh, whoa. Well, my mom would have grabbed her belt and whooped my ass. And also, whose house is this? If, if, I, if, if I was going to, if I was house? seeing shit you. like this, so my mom would have my It's your responsibility to clean your house. You know when you go to a hotel, they have room service there because it's the building. The building people clean their building. You need to, if you got a problem, you need to clean whatever you want to clean. Notice how you're so quick to say that you own the house and you own everything and you're the <laughs> boss and yet when it comes to cleaning oh, all of a sudden now I, I'm responsible for doing it. Nah, keep the same energy talking about this is my house, my rules. Keep keep it. Keep the same energy. I'm going to sleep. Good night. <laughs> do whatever. Just do what you want. <laughs> keep the same energy. What you say to your parents? Mom, can we go out to eat? There's like no food here. There is food at the house. Make yourself a sandwich. We have bread, turkey, and ham. So don't say that we don't have any food. And you know what? Last Saturday at 6 a.m., you didn't make me a grocery list when I asked you for one. So that's why you didn't get anything. So you know what? How about you open the fridge and make yourself a ham and, and turkey or turkey sandwich or eat some peanut butter or something. We're not spending no extra money. It's too expensive to go out and eat. You know that, okay? We have organic food here. Make yourself that ham and ham, turkey, ham, breast sandwich. Or peanut butter. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Fine. That's how I am, bro. That's how I was back in the day. Eat this peanut butter. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> what you wish you could freaking say? Mom, can we go out to eat? There's like no food here. There is food at the house. Make yourself a sandwich. We have bread, turkey, and ham. Oh, no, nah, I'm not putting up bread. <laughs> no, I deserve Texas Roadhouse. I want them freaking rolls with the cinnamon butter. That joint hits. And this is sad on your part because I am a young, up and coming, growing young man. I just, so I am stressed. I need food to grow for my mind to work. I'm in school all damn day, in case you didn't know. And I need carbohydrates and protein to have my brain functioning at the best level. I'm still growing. How could you not? I want to feed and nourish me. I'm a plant. I'm a plant that needs watering. And yet you gotta have me in here eating damn Jif and MCT oil. I cannot live off this. And what? <laughs> What's your reason to not give me food? Like, what? You don't want to pay for it? It's too expensive to go out to eat? Bro, literally, in 20 years, we're all gonna get wiped out by a big ass wave because of global warming. So why not just spend the $20 now and go to Texas Roadhouse <laughs> or spend $40 and just go to Applebee's or something? The triple chocolate meltdown at Applebee's is phenomenal, might I say. The freaking rolls at Texas Roadhouse are amazing. Olive Garden, all that stuff. We can do all that. Why don't we just go and live our lives before we get wiped out? Bro, oh my god, damn, let me live. You know what? No, I'm leaving. I'm leaving to go eat something. My friend's gonna pick me up. I'm gonna call my girl Alexis Clark and we're gonna go to Olive Garden because I promised I was gonna take her there. So, whatever. Be mad. Eat your MCT oil. Goodbye. Alexis, how are you doing? What you say? It's Saturday morning. You need to help your mom bring the groceries. Your mom's outside right now. She got a big thing of groceries. You need to get up right now and help oh, her man, bring I, the groceries into the kitchen. Oh, and man. I, I used to hate that. those days, You know, man. me, mow the lawn. We got a whole bunch of landscaping to do all day. We're going to be digging holes, picking weeds. We're mowing the grass. We're doing it all day. And after that, you have a doctor's appointment. And you and your mom need to go to the bank and retake your pictures for your ID. So that's happening right now. Oh, let's get up right now. Hey, literally. <laughs> what you wish you could say. It's Saturday morning, you need to help your mom bring the groceries. Bring the groceries and the kitchen and then unload them. You got a whole bunch of shit to do. Let's go. Hell no, I ain't, I ain't doing that shit. Come on, one day off. I'm going back to sleep. I'm tripping. What's wrong with you? Right? <laughs> you Don't you fall asleep on me now. <sighs> <laughs> Nigga say you tripping. Hey, wake up. These damn kids. I'm putting you on Beyond Scare straight. You going on the show. You're going to learn today. What you say to your parents? Hey, mom, uh, can me and Tommy go to the beach? Mm. All of our friends are going to be there. It's like a big Look. senior week party thing. Have either of you finished your essays and your other schoolwork? No, I didn't think so. So I want you to go back to your room right now and work on that. And I didn't want you going to the beach anyways, because there's a bunch of hoodlums and drugs and bad stuff out there, and you're gonna get arrested, so I don't want you going there anyways. So get out of my face and go back to your room. Okay. 
what you wish you could say. Hey, uh, mom, can me and Tommy go to the beach? Oh, like all of our friends are gonna be there. It's like a big senior week event. Have either of you finished your essays and your other schoolwork? No, I didn't. <laughs> 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 hey, uh, <laughs> what you say to your parents? Here you go, son. We went to the Sprint store today and saw that you were due for an upgrade, so we got you the new refurbished iPhone 8 Plus. Oh, thanks, but why didn't you just get the X? I, I literally just had an iPhone 8 Plus. Oh my gosh, you are so ungrateful. And me and your mother put you in a position and give you all the tools so you can succeed, and you're over here ungrateful that you didn't get the iPhone X? The X? <laughs> uh, like, be grateful that we just got you a brand new phone. What? No, I didn't. I was just saying, what, you just get the newest version, like why not if it was due for an update? Oh my gosh, you're so ungrateful. You never care for anything, you don't appreciate anything we do for you. It's never enough. You always want more. You always want more. All right, I'm sorry. What you wish you could freaking say. Here you go, son. We went to the Sprint store today and saw that you were due for an upgrade, so we got you the new refurbished iPhone 8 Plus. Wait, why didn't you just give me the X? Oh my gosh, you're so ungrateful. Your mother and I, we put a roof over your head. No, 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 stop, 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 stop. stop. No, okay, you over here talking about some, okay, yeah, you provide for me and give me a shelter and food and things to succeed. That's what you're supposed to do. As the parent, you signed up for that role, and that's what you're required to do as the parent. So don't hold that against me, talking about something that's like some crazy luxury. No, when you made me, you made the conscious effort to have a child, and when you do that, you're supposed to give them all of that stuff. So I didn't ask to be here, okay? Like, am I happy that I'm here? Yeah, it's lit, like, this is awesome. But do not hold that against me. Clearly, I'm grateful for everything. So like, don't go and work at a sandwich shop and then get mad that you have to make sandwiches. Like, you work, you signed up. You went through the interview process. You did the whole thing. And now you pissed off putting lettuce on the thing. I hate this thing. Uh, uh, you work there. You work well, there. Why would you stop complaining? You're putting yourself in that situation. That's Take this thing back with the X. Shit. Okay, okay, I'll go get the X. <laughs> what you have to say to your parents? Hey, Dad, um, I'm really sorry, but I lost the car keys. You lost the car keys? Oh my gosh, you are so ungrateful. Can you just take things and throw them away? You have no idea the importance of things. Easy come, easy go. Well, you're gonna need to work all summer so you can buy a damn replacement. Okay, I'll go buy a new one for $350, which I don't have, but I'll work all summer just to earn $350 just to buy the car keys. Sorry. What you freaking, what you can freaking say that? Dad, I lost the car keys. You lost the car keys? Oh my gosh, you are so ungrateful. Can you just take things and throw them away? You have no idea the importance of things. Are you really gonna act like you've never lost a single damn thing in your entire life? Like, honestly, you never lost one thing? Like, oh, whoopsie, I'm a human. We lose things. I can't keep track of everything. I got school to do. I got everything to worry about. I'm growing up. I gotta find a career. Freaking my stressed out. Pressure from adults. Pressure from society. Instagram. Pressure on social media to be better. There's so much stuff going on and I lose one thing. You think I wanted to lose it? Hell no. I'm trying to keep everything and know where everything is, but I can't. And so I made an honest mistake and you're gonna punish me for it? What type of parenting is that? Is that really gonna make me like, come on, man, where's the humility? Where's the humanity? This is so inhumane of you to treat me like this. And and again, where's the empathy? You haven't lost one thing in your entire life, really. And you're giving your bust to my balls because I lost a car key. <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself. You're a hypocrite. Being all hard on me, but I bet you lose things all the time. Ridiculous. Nigga went off on that nigga. Uh, Damn. Hey, son. Hey, Dad. So, look, um, me and your mother have been thinking about this. Um, I have something to tell you. We didn't know the exact right time, but since you're going off to Drexel, we figured it's best that we let you know what's been on our minds. What's up? What's, what's, what's going on? Look, so this isn't exactly the easiest thing that I want to say, but you're adopted. What? Yes. Wait. Wait, you didn't know? Why would I? Well, I mean, look look at you, look at me. You told me this was a, a genetic skin defect. <laughs> You're black. I'm black? I'm black? That's Why did you keep Uncle this a secret from me? Why did you tell me sooner? How could you? How could you? I thought you knew. <laughs> How the hell did you not know? You thought I was your OG dad? <laughs> I'm white as hell! How could you think that? I'm white as soon as you told me. Like you in the bottom of my feet away. Hey, son. Hey, stop that. Stop. Stop that. Get up. Get up. Stop. Now look. 
You you did make a good point, okay? I did? Yes, although I am white and you are black, we are the same. We, we are? Yes, although we are different races, we're both part of the same race. Yeah. The human race. <laughs> You're right! We're all equal. And you know, in today's world, people use our differences to separate us. And that's not right. We should use those differences as a way to unite us. You know, less division, more unity. Less division, more unity. Less division, more unity. And with that being said, we need to stop the hatred. Stop all the negativity. There's enough bad things in the world right now. We need love. And we need to embrace our differences. Small as hell. So with that being said, Make sure you guys subscribe to Love Live Serve because Love Live Serve is the most diverse, inclusive, and positive channel on the platform. And most underrated, might I add. So make sure you stand for something because otherwise, you'll fall for anything. Subscribe to Love Live Serve. Love you guys. That shit was funny, bro. I fuck with this video, man. These niggas, they killed it, bro. They killed it, man. There's, there's times when I want to say some shit to my mom, you know what I'm saying? So, and my, especially my setback, you know. But, my, you know, there, there's times I want to say shit, but at the same time, you know, I, I'm just grateful that they put me on a roof, you feel me? A lot of people don't have the luxury to be under their parents' roof. I respect my people 100, you dig? I'm just grateful, you know what I'm saying? Sip on this, you know, even though they're gonna get mad and say who the fuck drank the whole minute, man. I'm just gonna be like, who did it, you ungrateful bastard? But, you know, I respect my people. I fuck with this video. This video gets the AC approval, you dig? Hopefully y'all fuck with it. Your boy fuck with it. And your boy's out, eat, eat.